In this video, I'm going to show you how to create this really awesome loading bar animation right inside of Premiere Pro. There's no After Effects, no extra plugins. It's all Premiere. So let's get into it. So once we're inside of Adobe Premiere Pro and we've got a sequence created, we're first going to begin by creating a colored background. So we'll go down to new item, black video. We'll press OK and we'll drag this on to video layer one. Now we'll just extend the duration of this out to around 10 seconds. We'll go to effects, search for tint, and then we'll drop tint, that's T-I-N-T, -T, onto our black video. Now in the black video, we're going to go to map black to, we're going to select this black box here, and we can select any color of our choice. So I'm going to select, let's go to a soft blue. There we go. That looks nice. Now, from here, we can go ahead and we can create the bar. Now, from here, we're going to go ahead and we're going to create the bar that the animation is going to load inside of. So we're going to go File, New, Legacy Title. We'll press OK on the Legacy Title window. We'll extend the duration of this out. And then on the left side of this Legacy Title window, we've got these shapes. So I'm going to select, I'm going to select this rectangle tool and I'm going to draw a rectangle roughly in the middle. There we go. Now, at the moment, this is filled in. We want to just see the stroke. So we're going to go over to the right, deselect fill, and then we'll go down to strokes and we'll select outer strokes and select the add button. So that's going to add an outer stroke. And now we can go ahead and we can change the color of this to white. And then if we go to size, we can just increase the size of that rectangle. And that looks really nice. Now from here, we're just going to select that rectangle. We'll select these two center buttons here to make sure it's centered up in the middle of the video. We'll exit the legacy title window and we'll drag title one onto video layer two. Now moving on, we're going to create the animation inside of that bar. So from here, we're going to go new item, black video, press OK. We'll drag title one or a bar that is up onto video layer three. We'll drop the black video onto video layer two and we'll extend this out to the right. Now from here, we want to go ahead and we want to crop this black video so that it sits inside of the bar. So we're going to select the black video. We're going to go to opacity, select this free draw bezier, and we're just going to follow around this white rectangle and create this rectangle on the black video. There you go. That looks really nice. Now from here, we're just going to scroll to the very end. We're going to create a brand new keyframe on the mask path. We're going to go to the very beginning. We're going to select mask one, and then we're going to grab these two frames on the right of the rectangle mask, and we're going to pull them all the way to the left. There you go. You can see that slowly filling in. Now, if you wanted to change the color of the bar inside, then you want to go to effects. Tint should be sitting there, but if it's not, you want to search for tint again. Drop tint onto this black video. Go to map black two and select the color of your choice. So let's go for a soft pink. And there you go. You can now see this pink loading bar inside of this rectangle. Now, at the moment, if we zoom into this, you'll see that the edge is a little bit soft. If you didn't want a soft edge, then all you have to do is go to mask feather and pull this down to zero. And that makes this hard edge. Now from here, we want to add some lines or some gaps into that pink bar. That's just going to make it look like there's kind of a percentage count going on throughout this bar. So we're going to go into effects and search for blinds. And that should load Venetian blinds under transition. Drop Venetian blinds onto black video. And then inside of the Venetian blinds, we'll go to transition completion and we'll pull this up. Now, if you pull the transition completion all the way up to 100, then the bar disappears. So we want to make sure we keep a lower number. Let's go for 30%. And then we'll go to width and we'll increase the width. This is basically increasing the gap between each pink line. So if we have a small width, then you can't see the Venetian blinds effect. But if we pull that all the way up, then we're not really going to see much of the bar. 
So we want to do a balancing act here and select a number somewhere around the 60, 70 region. Now when we play this back, we've kind of got this loading bar indication happening. So now we need to go ahead and complete the two other assets for this effect. So we need to add the title underneath and then we need to add a percentage indicator just above. So we'll do the text first. We'll go file, new, legacy title, press OK. Select the T icon, select anywhere on this blue monitor and type out the word loading. Now from here, you can go ahead and you can change the font. You can change the weight of this. You can change the color. It's completely up to you. But once you're happy with the look of that, you want to center this up again. Use those two center buttons and then exit this window. We'll go back to our project and drag that title on top of everything. Extend the duration out and drag this underneath our loading bar. Now, we want this to blink every few seconds. So we're going to go to the very beginning. We'll go one second to the right. We'll go to opacity. Create a brand new keyframe on opacity by selecting this button here. We'll go five keyframes to the right. Pull this down to zero. Go another five keyframes to the right. We'll select this keyframe button here. And then we'll go another five keyframes to the right and pull this back up to 100%. Now, when we play that back from the very beginning, we've got this blinking effect happening. So all you have to do from here is select all of those keyframes, hold Command C on the keyboard to copy, move over, Command V to paste, move over again, Command V, move over again, Command V, Command V. And if we play that back from the very beginning, we've got this blinking effect happening every now and then. And that looks really cool. So there's just one more thing that we need to do, and that is to add the percentage. So we'll go to our black video inside of our project. We'll drop black video on top of everything. So that's on video five. We'll go into effects and search for time code. That should be under video. We'll drop the time code onto video layer five. And as you can see, it's starting at 0, 0, 59, 56, 18. Obviously, this is not what we're going for. So we're going to adjust a few of those settings. So we're going to go in to format and we're going to change the format from SMPTE to frames. We'll change the time code source to clip. And then if we play this back, you can see it's scrolling up from zero and it's just going to keep going all the way up to the very end and it finishes at 240. Now 240 is obviously too high. We want this to go from zero to 100. But before we do that, we're just going to get rid of this field symbol here. So we'll just deselect that box. And now we're going to go to the point where we see 101. So 98, 99, 100, 101. Hit C on the keyboard. That's going to load the razor tool. And then we'll delete the second part of that video. So we go zero all the way up to 100. Now we're just going to right click, select nest. We can nest this and now we just want to go ahead and change the speed slash duration to 10 seconds. So we're going to right click on the nested sequence, go to speed slash duration and we'll change the duration from the current four seconds to 10 seconds. And now you'll notice that the zero to 100, it takes 10 seconds rather than four seconds. So. From here, we're going to go into blend mode and we'll select screen. That's going to get rid of the black. We'll pull the position of this all the way up. Nudge that over to the left a touch. We'll get into file, new, legacy title. We'll press OK. Want to create a brand new title and we're just going to type out the percentage symbol. Now you just want to center this up. Exit the legacy title window and drag the percentage on top of everything that is there. Now we're just going to zoom in to the composition so we can perfectly line this up. We'll reduce the scale, pull the position of this up, pull this to the right just a touch 
And as you can see, there's a slight discoloration on the percentage versus the text. So we'll go back into the title. And we're going to change that to the color of the text. So we'll go to this eyedropper tool here on the fill. We'll select the white from that number. We'll exit the legacy title window. And that is now matching again. So if we play this back from the very beginning, we'll zoom out. We've got loading and a percentage climbing up from 0 to 100. And there you go. That is the percentage bar now complete. Thank you for watching this video and I will see you on the next one. See you there.